Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. So I pulled one card already, and wait, it's like the Ten of Diamonds. This is the Lenormand deck, one of them. And it's all about cutting away what no longer serves you, but it's also getting right to the point is what I'm feeling with this, like not just clearing the path and, you know, out with the old and with the new kind of thing. It's like clearing the air. Somebody might want to clear the air. Someone who's been keeping their mouth shut um, over whatever might want to clear the air with you. But this is quick action. Like I got to do this fast. Like I'm going to say this, do this, whatever, really quickly. It's like tying up loose ends is what it feels like. Like, all right, I just gotta, I gotta do it. So someone has something to say or do or both relatively fast, even though it feels like it, this is like split second decision making is what it feels like. So like on a whim, I'm just going to say this or do this or whatever this action or the words are, um, it's been thought about a lot for a long time. Something's going around and around and around in someone's head. And finally they just go, fuck it. That's kind of what this feels like. I gotta say it, I'm gonna do it. That kind of thing. Um, you know, what's really weird too is in one of my recent readings, not like yesterday's or whatever, I had mentioned something about a smoke detector because I always say when there's smoke, there's fire and a smoke detector detects a problem. But real smoke detectors, literal ones, detect smoke and a real fire, potentially. Like, a hazard, whatever's going on. And I didn't even think of it. But today, um, I just got a smoke detector put in my room. Because we got these ones that connect all over the place, like, through Wi-Fi. So if one goes off, they all go off. Because if you're upstairs and something goes on in the basement... I wouldn't hear that. You know what I mean? You you can barely hear it in the kitchen when that one goes off. So as a safety precaution, it's better to be over prepared than under prepared. But it's really weird that I said that. And then a lot of things that, I don't know, little things that I've said, I'm getting those little confirmations. And it's almost like spirit's way of showing like, okay, well, you know, this is what's going on today or this energy is revving up because that's what I take from it. Um... Yeah, so that's what I got so far. That's what I got for you so far. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Let's get more on this quick action. Well, someone's taking forever, so I don't know. It's almost like it feels quick to them. Whoever's going to say this, like, I'm just going to say it. And it feels slow to whoever else is going to be receiving it. Like, wow, it took you that long to say blah, 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 whatever. You know what I mean? <coughs> it took you that long to put everything together. It took you that long to put everything together. Didn't I just recently pick up on somebody trying to figure something out and put the pieces together? Pieces of the puzzle together, like information or literally building something? It took you that long to put it all together. My ears hurt so bad. Because somebody wasn't listening. Because now they don't hurt. Now that I did that, like I'm plugging my ears. It took you that long to put it all together. Because you weren't listening. Or whoever. Someone wasn't... Someone wasn't listening. To you. To messages. To other people. To, to whoever or whatever surrounding the situation. Oh, excuse me. There's conscious channeling here. So some of you do that. But there's also wishful thinking. Hmm. Wishful thinking. Okay. With getting right down to the point. The nitty gritty but wishful thinking. I don't feel like having somebody come forward and say something to you is wishful thinking. There's something else surrounding that, which is why somebody wants to say something to you. 
Hmm. And lost. This is what you think of. I must have got lost somewhere down the line. Anyway, so let's see. Give me more on. Well, we'll use one of these for just a daydream. I'm staring at the word day. Like day, daytime, today's the day, day, something. There's a specific day that's significant. The day I got lost. The day I lost you. The day, something like that. I'm not sure what that's about. All right. So give me more on this daydream energy. There's a significance with a friendship as well. So maybe it's the day that you can... Oh, there's an orb. That you connected with somebody in a friend capacity. Or the day you lost a friend. The day you lost a friend. Whether it's, you know, because they crossed over. However that happened. Or you're not talking to somebody. I'm not exactly sure. Family, blood ties, inner circle. Somebody could have just got lost because of friends. Friends could have thrown somebody for a freaking loop. Or family. Um, family. Family circle. It's like a tight-knit family. What the hell does this have to do it it's almost making me think of like when somebody lost their family you know like when the, due to a breakup or you know your homes are divided whether that happened to you in your past or it's something that's currently going on and someone I don't know if somebody has something to say about that or if somebody's just cutting ties like cutting family ties the day I lost you so there's a significant day where somebody cut ties with you, whether it's a family member, a friend, it would be a close friend. If so, somebody has something to say about cutting family ties or when they stop talking to you or something. So yeah, this is someone that you're not speaking to right now. They could have like cut ties with you for whatever reason. I don't know, someone's going, I wish I didn't. Somebody let you go for all the wrong reasons, and this doesn't really feel romantic to me. This feels like close friend or family, whether it's blood family or not, because you can consider another person family, even if they're not blood related. You know, there's adoption, and then there's people who marry into families, and you know what I mean? Like, something like that. Somebody cut communication abruptly without thinking, and... Now they want to say something about it. They've been suffering in silence. Unspoken desires, real feelings, broken dreams. But this feels like suffering in silence. You know, like going round and round in their head. Like, I shouldn't have cut ties with you. That kind of thing. So someone's worried about that for whatever reason. All right. So let's see. What's going on? What's going on? What the heck is so I almost want to say expect the unexpected for sure, but expect someone from your past, potentially a family member, um, someone you used to be close to, to actually reach out to you. And I feel like it will be on a whim, you know, like, I just can't stop thinking about this, but I'm fucking saying it, you know, it's something like that. That could be how ties got cut in the past because somebody just said what they needed to say. And it probably checks somebody off. But this feels like it's coming up. It doesn't feel like that's why this is over with. It's a realization. Somebody wasn't listening before. They weren't paying attention. They weren't seeing things from another person's perspective. And that effectively ended a relationship, basically. Ambition. The tinderbox soldier. 
Somebody just thought whatever you were saying was toxic. Like you were toxic, you were unhealthy, you weren't, you didn't have their best interest at heart. This person could have been a toxic family member for you. Maybe you cut ties with them. I feel like if they were unhealthy and you cut ties, you're not like losing any sleep over this. You know what I mean? But there's somebody who is viewing you as being bad. Like something you're saying and doing, your lifestyle, who you are, whatever they heard about you is like not good. So we just got to cut ties because we can't be associated with so-and-so. But I feel like you worked through all of this. Even if it was upsetting to you, the color green is significant. There's also a significance with a small dog. So, I mean, Jackson's like a medium-sized dog. He's a pit bull. This would be like a little, a little dog. Um, I don't know how little, but that's like a pug in the picture. So a dog or dogs could be significant, but it would be a smaller dog. For some of you. Let's not, that doesn't pertain to that, so let's see. There's a lot of confusion here as well. I don't know if it's on your end or this other person's end. Somebody could have been very confused by what you were saying in the past. Um you yeah, there's a mix up here. I don't know what it was about. But there was a mix up here. And somebody feels bad about it. I just heard you snooze, you lose. Oh, there was an orb. You snooze, you lose. So, I mean, if spirit was testing this person to be like, you know, uh, unconditional love. Like, do you unconditionally love this person? Or do they love you that way? Um... They they failed that test because they had conditions on, on the relationship between the two of you, on the love that they had for you. And they failed. Yeah, this person made a quick decision and they fucked up something. And I think they fucked it up for good. Because um, whoever this person is to you, even if it is family, I don't feel like... You, I don't feel like you want to go down this road with them. Because you've already dealt with it. And I feel like through your hard work and dedication, abundance is coming your way. And that might be why this person wants to even re-enter the scene. Because they're seeing that you're doing well for yourself. That you're not what other people have said. You're not what they thought. Um, what they thought was going on isn't going on. Because this person wasn't truly listening. This is someone that would just hear what you're saying to reply, not retain shit, and not really pay attention. You know what I mean? Um, so they got something all mixed up. And it's almost like, okay, well, if what I thought and what I was told is true about you, about whatever, then how come you're successful? How come this is working out? How come, you know, people are on your side or you got a backing or whatever it is? Like, how come things are working out? Because if, if you were really this horrible, that wouldn't be happening for you. Somebody's just thinking, like, I fucked up. That type of energy? Burrow. Exhaustion, questioning motivations, and realignment. Yeah, this person wants to fix the situation. They're questioning what motivated them to cut ties in the first place. To think and say and do whatever they did. Somebody made a boo-boo. And they want to apologize. So. You might get that apology. Randomly. Out of fucking nowhere. I don't know. This is coming from someone who's pretty stubborn too. Like this person has a massive pride and ego. You know what I mean? Like ooh, you could have wounded their pride. And maybe they got a little butt hurt about something. And retaliated ultimately. Um just cut you off. I don't know what this one feels like. I'm just going to cut you off. Like, fuck you. That type of energy. That's... It was too rash, too quick. Somebody didn't think something through, and it, it just didn't bode well for them. Because it's like I just keep looking back going, oh, what? why did I say that and do that? Like, somebody's feeling that way. All right, so what's going on for the collective, please? I never should have listened to her. That's what I just heard. So, a her. 
could have said something to another person, friend, family member, whoever it is. Um, I never, I never should have listened to her. So there's, there's a, probably a woman that somebody listened to, but regardless, a lot of you stepped into your masculine energy, whether you're male or female in this situation. And that's a very powerful stance where you took the lead of your own life. And I feel like you took charge of the situation. You probably stood your ground. Death. Yeah, there's an ending here. It could be a Scorpio involved. Somebody's upset that something ended. Some of you could speak to the other side and, you know, that could have been part of the problem here where someone just didn't believe it. You know what I mean? Um, but regardless of that, there was an ending. I don't know why this is coming up because it feels like whatever the situation is, it's over. The only reason I can think that it's coming up, think of, as to why it's coming up is because somebody's going to say something really fast. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody's going to say something really fast. But I also feel like that already happened. Like, whoop, I ended this super fast. Before having full clarity. Somebody stopped a situation, cut ties with another person on a whim. I mean, if that was you that cut ties with someone who was unhealthy, it took a lot of strength. Like, you could have feared this. Or maybe you feared this happening. You know what I mean? Like, you never wanted to disconnect from whoever this person or people are. Like, uh, I don't want... I don't want to lose you. I don't want... I, I always want you in my life. I don't want this to end. But I feel like... What you once feared is no longer a fear of yours. I don't know, you stop someone or something and, and you stop someone in their tracks, it's not something. Queen of Pentacles, potentially Queen of Pentacles. This person said something quick and they probably regret it because, you know what it's making me think of is when somebody acts um, without reason, you know what I mean? They just fucking fly off the handle, it's very quick and they cut ties like super fast, like, like I said, F you energy and... <laughs> in doing so, their true colors show because of whatever they said, however they handled the situation. So this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, handled this situation very poorly. And it outed their own ass with their own motivations and intentions because of what they said and how they handled this. Someone might be seeing that like, you said what? Why'd you do that? Like... This person didn't think before they did something. And they, that's already happened. So, And it effectively ended the situation. Because of that person. Yeah, it was the past tower. This could be a tower moment for this King of Cups energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like, like this is all happening because of you. Like, that kind of thing. So, this King of Cups could be partnered with this Queen of Pentacles. Or... They just know them. It's family ties or whatever. Whether it's blood or not. Yeah, this king of... My ear is ringing like a motherfucker. This king of cups is like... You said what? That's what I want to say. Like, I can't believe you fucking said that. To so-and-so. This Queen of Pentacles might knit and crochet or is very crafty. They could be a store owner or they work in a store or shop or whatever. It's weird because I was going to use one of my newer decks and I heard before I hit record use the Alice in Wonderland deck, which is all about like illusions. It's like this big fucking trip. You know what I mean? Um, somebody cast in shadows. Because things aren't always as they seem in Wonderland. This King of Cups is seeing something about this person within this situation. Like, 
you worked really hard to end this. You worked really fucking hard to hurt blah, 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 so-and-so, whoever, to put Alice up on the shelf. You worked so hard to put Alice up on the shelf, to put you up on the shelf. But Alice seems to be fine. She's happy, like, well, fuck you, who cares? And maybe that's how you handle the situation, like, fuck you, who cares? You know, if you're gonna be that way, deuces, you know? Okay. this one. So what's up with death? I don't know. This one started quick, ended quick, and I feel like it's over. And someone's going to be upset about that. King of Coins, secure abundance. Somebody just cared more about money, which is probably why this happened in the first place. I don't know, because I feel like I'm trying to take sides for some reason, or somebody needs to take sides, like, have to be on my side kind of thing. And it has to do with somebody's security. So, if these two people are partnered, this person, this Queen of Pentacles person, could have done something, created a bit of a ruckus, a problem, to keep this king on his or her side. You know, like... You got to be on my side because I need, I need this security. I need your money. I need whatever's going on, whatever the situation is. But it feels like it does have some type of financial connotation to it. Um, I don't know why, like, if this king was speaking to you or dealing with you, like, how that would affect their fucking finances. You know what I mean? Unless your family or that person's child or... Um, someone who needed my, I don't know, like, it's, I just don't get why. What the money tie is, do you know what I mean? It's like securing their place in a family, in a, in a, that's kind of what it feels like, like securing my place in the family. And you're, that's what it is. This Queen of Pentacles. There is money in here too. Like something to do with someone's financial stability. Securing their place in the family. Not just in the world. <laughs> and you would fuck that up for them. Especially if the dead talks to you. If you are intuitive. Even if the dead doesn't talk to you. If you're just not an idiot. And you see with your own fucking two eyes what's going on. Uh, maybe because you lived it, because this person, you did, I don't know, when you can read people well, e intuition based or not, or all of the above, but I do feel like strong intuition here, this person, you freak this person out, because you probably know shit about them, or they don't want you near them, like, you will know, you will know my motives, you will know my past, you will know something, and I don't want this king and cups to fucking know. That's what that is. So you need to go. You need to get the fuck out of here. This person caused problems because they were on shaky ground because of whatever fucking bullshit they pulled. This person might get all shaky and shit. Maybe they were nervous around you like, I don't fucking want you around because you fucking know too much. Yes, that's that one. So if a friend or family member went to you, you know too much, you freaked them out. But this King of Cups was totally unaware of, like, the full motive is what I want to say. Because this King of Cups is aware of something. That, uh, this tower, he's staring at the problem. But he's holding his cards close to him. Like, you don't know what cards he has. Like, you don't know what he knows. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't know what he knows. So this King of Cups could be very intuitive as well. Um, cause I feel like for some reason I don't feel like it's fully the viewer. I don't know. He looks nervous. Like <sighs> I gotta play my cards right with this one. Yeah. I gotta play my cards right with this one. So this King is trying to be smart because of whatever the situation is. But he knows more than he's letting on. 
that really feels like a he. It could be a she, flip-flop, vice versa. It's just masculine energy and feminine energy. So what's up with this Knight of Swords? Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles is a bitch. Um, and men can be bitches too. Just saying, uh, they're conniving, very selfish. There we go. But this person doesn't present in a selfish way. Do you know what I mean? Like, this would be someone that would be like, oh, here, you can have this. Or, oh, I have this for you. Or, I made this for you because she's making something right there. Um, like, I don't know. It, it's all for show, though. Because I feel like this person is kind of selfish. They're definitely selfish with time. You know the types of people where it's like, you gotta spend all your time with me, all your free time with me, or all your time with me. Like, if you just run down to the store, it's the end of the fucking world because you got this person attached to the hip, or you're taking too long, or uh, you can't go do this by yourself because I gotta go with you, too. Like, that type of shit. That's how this person is, so that's more where the selfishness is coming in. Because it does, like, gift-giving and shit, that, that don't fucking matter, you know what I mean? Like, this person's passive-aggressive as well. And they play off their faults and failures and bullshit as a joke. Like, <laughs> I didn't even realize. Like, shit like that. It's a definitely a family situation with a ton of coins. This is someone in your family. Um, whether it's your blood family or married in kind of thing. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something's moving forward fucking fast. There's a lucky twist of fate here. Holy shiitake mushrooms, I just hit that to her many. Anyway, <sighs> somebody might have knee issues or just knee pain. The Hierophant with the tower. Somebody's having like a spiritual re revelation for one. But <sighs> with traditional teachings, there's like something to do with tradition. Like it's <sighs> traditions. You know what's making me think of? Family traditions. You know, like... We always go to Graham's for fucking Thanksgiving or Graham always comes over for Christmas or whatever the fuck it is. You know, whatever you guys do, everyone has different traditions. Like you always make like my, one of my family traditions since I was a kid, especially for Christmas, is making strata. Every Christmas morning we have strata, no matter what diet I'm on, just saying because it's a once a year thing, you know, but anyways, it's so fucking good. And I make it every year, and so I'm sure my kids will, well, Logan probably will, he's the one who likes to cook, but anyways, they'll, you know, do that, because it's a memory, it's something that's special to you, which is why it's a tradition, and you keep it going. Um, there's some, some tradition got fucked up here. Some tradition got fucked up here, whether it's a holiday one, or just, this is how we do things kind of thing. It's a family tradition. That went to shit. Potentially because of this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like this Queen of Pentacles person. What? Do you know what's weird though? It's because Alice is creating the tower. She ripped the fucking tablecloth off. You know? She's like. It looks like Alice is making the ruckus. You know? Because if you're representing Alice. You probably created this tower. Spirit probably led you to do that. But whatever was said by you, whatever action you took, however you handled the situation, it did create a tower. But towers are necessary to get rid of, to cut out what no longer serves you. You know, to get rid of a problem, problems, whether it's a person, situation, thing, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Towers go and obliterate shit so you can start fresh. It's also eye-opening. There's a sense of awakening, like waking up to something like, whoa, that type of thing. But anyway, so maybe Alice woke up the King of Cups. Like, the King of Cups is going, I see why that happened now. Holy shit. You know, something like that. Um, I just heard, yeah, I guess you could say that. But anyways, this Queen of Pentacles is looking at something that was said. Looking away from the tower. So it looks like this bitch ain't paying attention. Like, I didn't do that. I wasn't... I had no part in that. But they did. Which is why Alice went rogue. 
and flipped everything around. That's what that feels like. And the king is seeing this. You went against the grain, and it opened somebody's eyes. The three of coins, potentially through your work. There could have been some type of clarity that happened through somebody's work, something that somebody was working on. Um, building foundation. Building a foundation was a wrong, faulty foundation. Someone was, someone fucked up because they didn't know. Somebody did or said the wrong thing and fucked up because they didn't know. Because look, this is learning. I'm working towards this. Because with each book, you learn more. There's more knowledge. Yeah. Somebody followed suit in the wrong direction, made the wrong choice because they didn't know. They didn't have all the information. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for this King of Cups, to be honest. Some of you might feel bad for this person. Some of you might not. you would be like, you know, you made your bed. Now you got to sleep in that kind of thing. You should have listened. Which, you know, that is part of karma in situations. But it's it's sad that that manipulation is real. You know, that shit like this really happens. Because it tears families apart. It breaks up relationships. It it's, Nothing good comes from that shit. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's fucking ridiculous. But I feel like a lot of you took a chance, no matter how terrifying it was, to reveal this truth, this clarity to this person, or just in general. Because even if you weren't trying to reveal anything to this specific person, you're revealing it to everyone around that person, and just in general. Do you know what I mean? So, other family members might be seeing something instead of this person that could bring it to this person's attention, you know, something's going on, this king is in the know somehow, some fucking way, whether family or friends told them, or you did, yeah, they're worried, they're upset, this is a fucking mess and a half, something from the past, self-doubt and cherished memories, I guess you'll always cherish the good memories between you and this person, whoever they are to you, but it, it's, I don't know, for some reason I feel like this is all a fucking lie. Like, all these cherished memories, this, this shit that I, like, okay, he's thinking this about this person, about this queen of coins, or he will be, like, like, what's fucking real and what isn't? You know, what's a lie and what's the truth? Is all of this shit between us and family and blah, 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 whatever, is this all bullshit? Is it all bullshit? This person is not going to trust what that person says. Because whatever this lie is, this tower, this boo-boo, it's, uh, it's a doozy. It's a doozy. Grandiose temptations. It's a doozy. Whoever this person is, I feel like they just didn't listen to themselves because the high priestess is reversed and it's like, I should have listened to myself above anyone else. And that's usually where people go wrong is when they listen to the opinions and thoughts and bullshit of others and not themselves. Um, especially when it pertains to people that we're close to, you know, close friends and family, you know, those types of situations. It's like, I always say, I use my, be my best judgment, whether I'm right or wrong. It's just, I go off of how I feel. So I could have everyone in my family going, this person is a piece of whatever they did, blah, 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 blah whatever the hell they did. And I'd be like, oh my, <laughs> you know what I mean? I listen, but... I don't shun that person because of what was said and done or what people told me was said and done because they didn't say and do it to me or around me. So I use my discernment. It's like, okay, noted information. You don't treat me like that. I haven't witnessed you treat so-and-so like that. Like, I don't know. I just pay closer attention, but I don't judge. And then I make my own 
final ruling. Do you know what I mean? And that's how people should be with anybody because gossip is poison. Don't drink the poison. You know, someone did. Someone did. Someone drank the poison and fucked up something. And they're thinking about it, which, okay. So now that we know that, I guess, what is the significance of this? Like, why is this even coming up right now? Um, all right, I'll use this one. Yeah. Okay, so why... Oh, I am one of these. Why is this even this information even coming up right now? Somebody was in, greatly impacted by this. It has something to do with influence as well. It could have been under the influence and making piss poor choices, or they were just influenced by another person by what they were saying. I don't know. There's a gossiper here. Someone's in someone's business all the effing time. You know the types of people that know more about you than you know about you? <laughs> and they don't even talk to you? It's like, well, how do you fucking know that if you don't even speak to so-and-so? If you, you know, if you have no ties to them whatsoever, how do you know all of this? Because they're fucking creeping around because they're nosy. That's what it is. This person is like Pinocchio. Except they chop their own nose off so it wouldn't grow. Because they're hiding it. Religion. There's definitely a difference in religion here. And religion and supernatural. Yeah, there's a difference between you and these people, that's for sure. But I feel like there's a difference between you and this person. Someone might be pretending to be more spiritual when they're actually not. They're religious, you know? Like, even if they don't go to church every day or every week or whatever, however many times people go, depends on which faith you follow, you know? Um, even if they don't practice, there we go. There's a difference here. Um, something that you believe in your spirituality, especially if you do divination and you talk to the dead and stuff, goes against what somebody believes. Like, yeah, right, basically, is what they think. Or it's the devil's work. I've, I keep picking up on that. But this, but this gift, these gifts, whatever, whatever's going on for you, whoever is very spiritual, is miraculous. This is nothing less than a miracle is what it feels like. Yeah, there's a difference. Somebody's seeing this, though. I feel like you've let go of the past, but whoever this person is or these people involved have not. There is something significant that this person's buttered about. They don't like you because of some grudge. You did or said something in the past, they don't fucking like you. And they caused a big ruckus because of it. And that was the catalyst for this change. I feel like you stood in your power and you said goodbye to the situation. No matter how scary it was. Like, letting go of someone significant is hard. Just know that you made the right choice in letting the situation go and not feeding into it further or fighting for this person or whatever. You did the right thing. Empress, you did the right thing. There is a mother involved as well. Um, could be stepmom baby mama, your mother, grandmother, I don't know, there's a mother involved who is highly religious as well. I don't know what the significance with that person is to you or in this situation, but this person is highly religious. And they're looking away from some type of spiritual component because that goes against what they believe. Um, but you're stronger than, I don't know, This whatever your faith is, that's otherworldly is giving you strength is helping you through this it's it's like finding that your inner strength and um confidence and just finding yourself within within whatever faith you have it doesn't matter if it's a structured religion or if it's spirituality that's more free flowing it's what works for you and i feel like there is a mother figure here, grandmother, whoever, who is religious, and that works for that person. And it's like, 
I don't feel like you're poo-pooing on that. This person might be turning their head like, okay, yeah, I'm, I don't really believe in what you believe in. I'm just not, uh, whatever. Which is fine because that's not their faith. But if there's judgment and ridicule here, that's not okay because whatever makes you feel strong, whatever pushes you along, whatever gives you hope and keeps your ass fucking going is important for you. You know, it's like, this gives me strength. That gives you strength. We can <sighs> agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. That's a grudge here, though. Because of something someone said. Someone's holding a grudge. Within a partnership. Yeah, with a lover, within a partnership. <laughs> I don't know if it's this mother, grandmother or something who said something to piss somebody off that has to do with someone's relationship, like butt your fucking nose out kind of thing, or if you said something or what, but there's partners here who are going against. There's a grudge. Someone's partner's pissed off at a spiritualist and potentially this religious female too. For different reasons? Surrounding a similar situation or the same situation or something. I don't know. Whoever that person is, they don't fucking like you or that other person. <laughs> I don't think they like anyone in your fucking family. Just saying, that person's wretched. I don't know. Yeah, you walked away from this. Suddenly. That's what that feels like. Like, because look, she's got her hands up. Like, you know, I don't have fucking time for this bullshit. You know, if you want to think that way, you want to act that way, you want to be immature, a pain in the ass, you want to have so-and-so all to yourself, you want to have whatever the fuck this is going on, you want to keep the status quo, go ahead. Because I got bigger fish to fucking fry and better things to do with my time and people who actually give a shit around me that deserve my time, attention, and affection versus this shit. Yeah, Queen of Wands, you're still in your power. You're like, mm, nope. This could have happened just as suddenly as this person ran their mouth. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that person doesn't really know what to fucking do anymore. There's someone in this situation who doesn't know what to do. Listen to yourself is what you need to do. Because, like, I feel like in this partnership... Potentially between the Queen of Pentacles and King of Cups, because that's the energy that was showing up. There is a, a differing belief system, too. I feel like the King of Cups has a strong intuition and a, a spiritual side. Like, a spiritual understanding, we'll leave it at that, where they probably don't practice, probably don't read cards, probably don't do anything like that. But they, it's almost like Native American, um, kind of spiritual practices it's not even practices it's just you know when you stand outside and you feel the wind on your face and you just get answers you just I don't know understanding just washes over you and you just don't even know where it comes from it's coming from spirit for one somebody gets information that way but that queen of pentacles energy doesn't They might act like it's cool or something like, oh, interesting. But they don't, they're not open is what I want to say. It could be a Virgo. They're not open. Whoever they are. It's, it's a female. It's a very, it's a fucking female. And I just want to say like, yeah, I do toss around the feminine masculine energies in readings. But when I say in a reading, no matter what the reading is, that this is a fucking female, this is a woman, this is a whatever, or this is a man, and I say it like that, like, it just is, it keeps coming out of my mouth, that's what the message is about. So, for example, if you're going through a similar situation, you could get different messages from the reading, but if I'm like, this is a woman doing this, and you're like, no, no, it, that's happening, but it's a man, you know, take on whatever messages make sense in your situation, but the message that I'm literally focused on in that moment when I say it's whoever or whatever, that's what it's about. So even if you've dealt with something similar or it makes 
a little bit of sense and I'm and you're like no it's a dude doing it not a woman it's that message isn't for that about that person do you know what I mean it because I don't always directly say man or woman you know um because sometimes it just is energies because we do harness both masculine and feminine energies but sometimes messages come through and it's a damn man or a damn woman you know it is what it is you know something like that but <laughs> I just wanted to point that out but anyways I love you guys I gotta go because I'm gonna have to pick the babies up soon and I will talk to you guys soon peace